my name is Andrea with Andrea Pinder Photography and today I am going to talk to you guys just a little bit about clothing recommendations. Um, I know that I always stress solid colors and to kind of prepare your outfit um, before your photo shoot rather than the night before, prepare it maybe a week or so in advance. And so today I have a lot of things you should do and things you should not do. An easy thing to recommend out are polo shirts. They are found in every size and every color. Um, I do always say solid colors, but I don't necessarily mean matching colors. Um, you can either, everyone pick their own favorite color, or uh, maybe you're all gonna do a different shade of the same color. I have a couple examples right here. Uh, these are just two polo shirts in different colors of green. So we have a light green and a dark green. And maybe if there was a couple more in the family, they could do a couple other shades of green. Um, but polo shirts are easy to find, easy to find in every color, and this is an easy recommendation. Another example of a couple solid colors, maybe dressed it up just a little bit, we have um, a starched, uh, just a cotton long sleeve shirt, and it can be paired with uh, just a plain blouse. This one kind of has a little bit of a, uh, bling on it to give uh, give a little character to the pictures. But these again are solid colors. They're both in the blue family. Um, and this would look really great during a photo shoot as well. Another important element is the color of your pants. I always say to make sure before the photo shoot that you guys have not only just all jeans, but they're all the same shade of, of jean. Um, there's now dark denim, light denim, uh, tie-dyed, all kinds of things like that. Um, here is a sample just of a dark denim. And if you pair that with a light denim, then there's definitely a contrast. You want to be looking at the people in the pictures. You don't want to be looking at their pants. So make sure that you consider this while you're picking out your outfits. You need to have matching pant colors. Okay, you've heard me say solid colors so far the entire time. You can wear prints just to make sure they coordinate. I always advise one person in the photograph wearing a print and everyone else coordinating with them. I have a sample right here with a blue plaid shirt. And uh, this, is, this is a man's shirt, so the husband could wear this. And then just a solid blue top. So this is something the wife could wear or um, the mom and dad. And then... Uh, just keep it simple after that. You don't want to have too many prints going on or else the pictures are not going to coordinate. And again, you're going to be focusing on what the people are wearing instead of the people themselves in the picture. When you're wearing prints, I always recommend this uh, for groups of two or three. So if it's an engagement session, one can wear the print and one can wear the solid. Or if it's a family of three, the child can wear the print and then the mom and dad can wear uh, coordinating colors in solid. And I of course have to show you a bad example and the biggest reason why I recommend solid colors. You do not want people showing up in something like this a plaid and some crazy uh, flower print. Individually, these are great shirts and they would look great coordinated, but just not together. So keep that in mind while you are planning out your outfit for your photo shoot. Thanks for watching today. If you guys haven't already, please become a fan of Andrea Pender Photography on Facebook and feel free to visit my website at www.andreapender.com. Thank you.